Get off the track and into the streets. Camden Entertainment and Naira Bats are proud to present At The Post Live, Serling on Saratoga. A weekly behind-the-scenes discussion throughout the Saratoga horse racing season. Hosted by nationally recognized racing expert and analyst Andy Serling. Tonight's show is also brought to you in part by Capital OTB and Timeform U.S. Now, live from the Parting Glass Pub in downtown Saratoga, here's Andy Serling. Welcome back, everybody. How's the sound going? Can you guys hear me out there? There we go. Put some new speakers in, actually. Thanks for coming, everybody, and welcome back to the uh, inaugural At The Post Live. Serling in Saratoga here at the Parting Glass. Thanks for coming. It's our fifth year. We're excited to be back and excited for a great Saratoga season. And judging by the crowd here, I think it's going to be a great summer in Saratoga. I'm pretty excited to have my first guest on. One of my best Twitter friends, Julian Leperu, is joining us. And give Julian a big hand. Thank you for coming down. There you go. Julian, how are you, man? Very good. Thank you. In case you don't know, Julian's having a big year. You've got 16 greatest stakes wins this year? Yeah, uh, it's been great. You know, uh, I ride a good, lot of good horses, so he helped me a lot. Uh, it's so far, it's great. Hopefully, we got a good meet here in Saratoga. So... You have 16 wins, and that doesn't even include you've won the Queen's Plate up in Canada. And the, there's a great picture of Julian kind of looking down as Ken Ramsey is falling down as he's leading uh, Sir Dougley Diggs into the winner's circle. And it doesn't count Teppin winning over at Royal Ascot. Teppin, yeah. That was pretty great, right? That was amazing. That was a, a great experience. Um, and, you know, what she did there was, uh, I think, it was amazing. Great race, great, uh, great track. A great Philly. I mean, everything was a, a dream come true. Have you ever ridden it, Ascot before? No, the first time I actually rode in in Europe. So really, yeah. You you never rode there. Never it was my first time, and uh, no, lucky to to ride her and win. <laughs> That's pretty good. So you're one and one one for one for one in Europe. Now, but yeah. you but you worked at Shanti. Is that is that true? When you yeah, first started? Yeah, I worked. Uh, I got up horses in the morning. Uh, well, I'm from Shanti, so you know I got up horses there. Uh, but never road races. And so why did you decide, you're, you're, in, you're in Shanti, you're in Europe and riding, why did you decide that you wanted to come to America to ride as opposed to riding over in Europe? Well, uh, I, I came up to, to the racing a little bit different. I didn't do the jockey school. Uh, so I went, I went to school and um, after that I, I wanted to really come to America to learn the language. Um, you speak it much better than Christophe Clement, by the way, who's going to be on later. <laughs> Nobody's going to understand a word he says. <laughs> and, uh, you know, gain experience, try to learn how to write better, and, and uh, I just love the country, and um, so I stay here. And you, you came to, now when you came to Saratoga in 2005, was that, those your first rides? Uh, yes. I, well, I came uh, in America in 2003. I worked here for Patrick Biancon for two years. And my first ride was here in Saratoga. You 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 had a pretty you won for him on a big price horse, I want to say, in like the last race. Is that, is that your first win? My first win no, was for John Kenlin for that was like eighty one to yeah. one or something. And then my second win there was for Patrick. Yeah. For for I think flying Z stable at Saratoga. Uh, yes. And you came back in two thousand six and I believe you set a record for a number of wins by an apprentice uh, in Saratoga, twenty eight wins. Yes. That must have been pretty amazing. Yeah, no, that was uh, that was great. You know, it's uh, uh, Saratoga and Kinon, I think, are two of my favorite tracks. So to be here and do good, that was uh, that was great. Saratoga is amazing because we all love coming here, but everybody gets their butt kicks at some point in Saratoga. It's a great place to be. How do you balance that out in years where, because obviously you've had some great years, but like all of us, you know, for me last year I got crushed. Um, but how is it? Is it too, still so. fun being here when you're getting your butt kicked? Well, I mean, it's uh, it's part of the game, you know. You can can always win, um, and and it, that's why it make it fun, you know. It's uh, you come out here and you know it's gonna be hard, and uh, you got just gotta do your best. So when you went to ride Teppan at Ascot, it's a straightaway course. If people, mm -hmm. I'm sure there's probably three people here that didn't see the race actually. I mean, you never really. I mean, were you confident the whole way? She never really got a chance to get covered up. She seemed like she was sort of just in the right spot the whole way. Yeah, well, you know, over there they all cover up, but if you, she never gets covered up here, so I didn't want to change anything. Uh, now I was very comfortable the whole way. Um, you know, we, we walked the course a couple of times, so, you know, I think the main thing was, you know, try to pick 
pick some spot in the tracks and and know where you're at, you know, where is the quarter pole because it's not just like here where you got like a big pole and, and stuff like that. So, you know, it's just those little details, and, but I was very comfortable the, the whole way. Do you find you sort of have to time the race a little bit more in your head because you don't necessarily know exactly where you are on the track? Uh, a little bit, uh, but, you know, I knew there was a rabbit in there, so I knew it was going to go fast. Um, and I just, I just rode the race for my filly, just kind of leave her alone, relax, and uh, make sure she could finish at the end. You're hoping that uh, she's poss probably going to run here at some point, whether it's the Four Star Dave or Boston Spa. Yeah, uh, I think that's the plan. I'm not 100 percent sure. I don't know, but uh, yeah. You're also riding. You, you rode a couple of very nice, promising two-year-olds for for Mark and Norm Cassie that won, I think, closing day at Churchill. And they're yeah. both expected to run at least once later in the meet. They look pretty nice horses, especially the Colt, right? Yeah, yeah, the Colt won very impressive. Uh, the Philly won a good race too, but the Colt was very impressive. Yeah. So do you do you feel like coming? I mean, do you feel like Saratoga is just always an adventure? The fact that you're having such a good. I mean, this is this has got to be one of your best years, at least in the last couple of years. Do you feel like you yeah. come in here with momentum? Yeah, well, hopefully, you know, you never know. Uh, we're gonna do everything for for it. Uh, but you know, you, you always come here and 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 live with. Even last year, I didn't have a good year, but I still live with stepping. So, uh, you know, it's uh, you always live with a good horse. It's amazing that she lost two races here last year, right? Yeah, Both yeah. of them by a nose. In fact, Clamont beat you, which is pretty amazing, yeah. right? He actually lost to him. <laughs> Who's the Chad Brown? He wins every race, but Clamont, you know. I mean, tough horses. <laughs> no, I mean, uh, yeah, it's still a, uh, it, it was too tough bit, uh, for sure. Nose and, and maybe a head. So it was, it was tough, yeah, for sure. Um, but, you know, it's part of the game. We win and lose. And, uh, I think now she proved to everybody she's just a great filly and she's, uh, she's one of the best anyway. Yeah, she, she's amazing. Now, you, you've had a big year. You had a, you had a kid, right? Yeah, I had a kid. It's, Ten months old now, so that's nice, right? Yeah, are Shay and are they, they both here? Yes, yes, they yeah. are. That's pretty exciting. It's uh, yeah, it's uh, the best feeling that I would say. Yeah, it's uh, to be a dad is uh, it's amazing. I love it. So, do you think you and I should stage another Twitter fight during the meet here? What do you guys think? <laughs> you, 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 you usually pick the fight, so I, I, I like to pick fights. I, I do, <laughs> I do like to pick fights. What I like the most is that Julian at least answers me. I try to pick fights with other riders, and they don't they answer me. At least you come back to me. Yeah, one time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually nice to you in general. Anyway, Julian, anything else you want to say? No, hopefully everybody get a good bid. You too. Hopefully you get a I good, agree, you good too. bid. And, uh, you know, have fun, and that's it. Well, I appreciate you very much coming up here. I do thank wish you. you the best of luck at the meet. And, uh, Julian, thanks a lot. Thank you, Andy. I'm going to take a break. Sal Cuman, I think I see Sal in the back, so Sal's going to be coming up, and uh, we're going to take a break. i got to read some stuff. Hang on a second. Stay with us. We come right back. At the Post Live is brought to you by Capital OTB. Watch, wager, and win with Capital OTB.